The FBI got involved and helped determine it was an East Syracuse Manila high schooler who allegedly made a racist threat against his or her school district. And after being remote for a day, students are back in the classroom. News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran spoke with a superintendent about a new safety measure in place at the high school. Anyone coming to East Syracuse Manoa Central High School will have to walk through this, a new weapons detection system installed Monday when students were remote and ready to use when they returned on Tuesday. We actually processed through all almost nearly 1,200 students within 35 minutes and we were all in by 9.01. With what happened in Uvalde and then an ESM student arrested for bringing a loaded gun on a school bus in August, Desiato says the district had been looking into adding this even before school started. The racist threat made by a high school student over the weekend expedited its arrival. We're not waiting for a tragedy at ESM. Yeah. We're building them in now so that we can prevent such tragedy from happening. When students come in, they are asked to remove their Chromebooks, three ring binders, and other items that may have metal and put them into these bins. And then they walk through. I tried it myself. Cell phones, keys. Now you shouldn't set it off unless you have too much metal. Okay. I didn't set it off. And that's how it works. And if you do set it off, it will identify where on your body or in your bag there is something that we have to be concerned about. Dr. Desiato says that this is the only school to have this particular system and they are researching what it would take to add it to uh, more schools in the district. And the district has also reached out to state leaders for help through grants to pay for it. Live in East Syracuse, Iris St. Moran, News Channel 9. Iris, thank you. And the district has had SROs for 20 years now. There's one at the high school and one at the middle school.